Hi guys, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today we are going to paint this beautiful perfume bottle. Now, I've got a time lapse for you today, but I am going to teach this in real time for free over at michaels.com slash classes on January 19th. And this class is open to United States and Canadian residents, and there'll be a link in the video description where you can sign it for free and also grab the printable pattern. And uh, if you are outside of the USA or Canada and you want to take this class, we will have a replay on YouTube a couple days after the event. So if you're in the USA or Canada, I would really highly suggest you sign up for free. Even if you can't make it, it helps Michael's gauge how much interest there are on particular subjects. And, um, and then it keeps the free classes coming. So I'll have that information in the video description. And we're going to be using ink tense pencils. And I do have a few colors from the new 100 set that I'm using in this project, but you can use whatever size set you already have. Um, and you can also do different colors. If you don't like pink and you want to do like a teal perfume bottle or a green one or a blue one or a gold one, whatever color you like, orange, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You, this, the techniques are going to transfer and you can do whatever color you like. Um, but I actually purchased some perfume for myself the other day and I'm like, ooh, this bottle is so pretty. I think I want to paint it as well. And so that's what inspired this piece. And uh, the nice thing about the ink tents here is that you can keep layering and as long as you fully liqui liquefy your pigments, um, they're not going to lift up as you put more layers on top, which I think is really handy, especially if you're new to painting glass as a subject. Now, if you love to paint glass, you want to learn more about painting glass in watercolor. Traditionally, I have a watercolor glass class on my teachable school, and I'm going to put that on sale this month for 40% off. So um, if you click the link in the video description and enroll before January 31st, 2024, you can get 40% off that class. I will put the coupon code perfume and also a discount link in the video description. And it, like I said, that is traditional watercolor. But the project we're doing today and that I'll be teaching for free for live at Michael's will be using the ink tense pencils. Now, if you don't have ink tense pencils and you're not sure about them, but you have watercolor pencils, you can go ahead and use those. They do lift up a little bit easier, but you should be able to do this project just fine. Um, and like I said, again, if you have a smaller set, you can use a smaller set on this. You don't have to have the big tin. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's more about learning the techniques than using the exact color that I'm using. And honestly, what I find with things like this with subjects like glass where you have a lot of really strong shadows and reflections and refractions, it's more about the value than the color. You could do this with a, you know, if you had a, a water soluble graphite pencil, just like, and just do it in shades of gray, that would also be gorgeous. So if you're like on a strict budget and you're like, I can buy one thing, Lindsay, I've got, you know, 10 bucks, what do I do? You know, you could either go buy one or two ink tense pencils at open stock. Actually, if you had a store that sold them open stock, you probably could get, um, you probably could get four. Uh, but if you just had, you know, you're like, I, can, I got like water soluble graphite. Can I use that? Absolutely. Honestly, it's more about the techniques. Um, and layering up. So like our, with our first layer there, we just very lightly colored in the bottle with a pink pencil very, very lightly. And then we liquefied that. And then that was dry. We added another layer over where the actual perfume is and then we let that dry. And then we used our brush to pick up pigment right from the tip of our pencil. And we used that to paint down. We went a little bit with a more a deep color, a deeper red to do that. And it's just that, that paying attention to the values, how light, how dark things are, paying attention to the edges. Do we have hard edges like we do up here in the faceted cap? Um, when we create hard edges, it gives us a look of reflections and sparkle and um, light being bounced around on a smooth, hard surface. When we have soft edges, we have the impression of things being um, uh, maybe um, more soft to the touch or more liquid or um, you know, less defined, less, uh, you know, more fluid. So we use these different edges and these different reflections and these different values to convey a realistic picture on a two dimensional surface, which is just what, you know, really what realism is about when we're painting. Um, but the thing that's really cool about this and I, cause it really was kind of a challenge to myself. It's like, am I going to be able to teach this in an hour? And I decided if I provided the pattern for the drawing, I absolutely can teach us in an hour and uh, we're going to have so much fun. I love these classes with Michaels because I can actually see those of you guys that turn on your camera at the end and want to show me your work. I get to see your work and that is just so awesome. But I 
also welcome people to share it on Instagram or Facebook and just tag me so um, so I can see that as well. But um, I'm very inspired by sparkly glass, clear glass, clear things, transparent things. I love to paint those types of subjects with watercolor and I love how every little layer you add adds so much dimension and so much beauty to it and uh, you know it's, it can be easy to overwork it just because you have so much fun when you're starting to like finish up there. But uh, I definitely encourage you to try this if you have some pretty bottles, some pretty perfume bottles, or just some like heirlooms maybe in your china cabinet, you know, take them out, put them like on a white piece of paper in front of a window and take a photo of it. It's a lot easier to work from a photo because then the light's not going to change on you um, and just start drawing them. It's, um, it's so fun. And I just, I think if I was to collect something besides watercolor palettes, which I have a little bit of a, <laughs> of an extreme collection there, I would collect pretty bottles. Bottles because especially perfume bottles I think they're so appealing they're so I don't know I just really like them I like to wear perfume too so that's probably part of it but I just think they're so pretty uh, I think probably probably most most ladies have a have a memory of you know looking at their mothers or their grandmothers um, you know dresser cap dresser top with all kinds of perfume bottles on it and it's just such a uh, I don't know, such a nostalgic and warm feeling to see these objects. Now here at the end, I'm actually using the pencils dry, which you can use watercolor and water soluble pencils dry when you want a little crisper, more defined image. And uh, what I do at that stage is I actually sharpen the pencils. Generally, I don't sharpen my water soluble pencils until I absolutely have to because I hate to waste the lead. And when it's when it's a wooded pencil, you know, you do. it's not like you can save those shavings out unless you're sharpening carefully with a knife, but even then you're going to waste some. So I don't like to sharpen it until I'm absolutely done. And I need that, like that really fine definition, but I was able to get some really nice crisp details that way. And I'm also using a gel pen to go in and get some really fine shine to it. Now you could absolutely paint around those white highlights, but sometimes it can get a little awkward looking. And if you're not using masking fluid, it can be um, you know, it can just be kind of tricky to do. And with the, the time restraint of an hour teaching, I decided to go with what was going to give us the look in the quickest amount of time. And, uh, but absolutely you can do whatever you want to do. I like to just show as many different options as I can. So you can, you know, see what's right for you. Now here's something, the, the white pencil here is not as opaque as the white Derwent um, ink tense pan paint or block. So that's one thing I would highly recommend having, I mean, not for this lesson, but just in general, I love to take the Derwent ink tense block whites and, or the pan paints and put them in my watercolor palettes because it, they are so opaque. They're like having gouache, but they don't crack. It's really amazing. And then I was just making sure my paper was really dry because if you're going to use pen, like a gel pen or a felt pen or a, like a micron over your watercolor work, you got to make sure it is perfectly dry or you're going to ruin the pen. So there's a little tip for you there. And here we can see the final artwork. I just love how it came out. I think it's just so pretty. And I hope you join me for this free class on January 19th at michaels.com. And if you want to check out my watercolor glass class and save 40% off, I will put the info for that in the video description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.